In our last episode, we visited the historic Van Campen Inn and came across several forgotten places along the way. In this episode, I head over to Turtle Beach, an area that was opened in 2010 with abandoned structures nearby that are slowly being devoured by nature. I was here once before, shortly before the construction of Turtle Beach began. I explored a couple of the buildings, but I know there's more deeper in the woods than I hope to find today. In 2004, Hurricane Ivan destroyed the Depew Beach just slightly upstream from this location. Perhaps that was a blessing in disguise as the Depew Beach was known to have dangerous currents in the swimming area. In the late 1990s, a process began to find a new site for a beach and more than 10 years and $3 million later, Turtle Beach became a reality. I watched its construction over the years when passing by, but today is the first time I've pulled into this area since back when they were first breaking ground for the project. The Copper Mine Inn is the most well-known structure at this spot. It was also known as the Shoemaker's Inn. It dates back to the early 18th century and is listed in the National Register of Historical Places. The inn was owned by the Von Hagen family from 1905 until 1971, when the Army Corps acquired it. The Corps then released it back to the family when the National Park Service acquired the property from the Corps. A long chain of events occurred between the Von Hagen family, Shawnee Inn, and the National Park Service, which ultimately led to the condemnation of running a private business at the inn, and so it sits today in poor condition. This, I've come to learn, is the garage the Von Hagen family had used. Right next to the Copper Mine Inn are what's left to a 19th century barn and a 1962 home, which also belonged to the Von Hagen family. Both were destroyed by a fire in 2010. I knew from satellite images there were more places to visit ahead. Unfortunately, there were no paths to be found, and to make things more difficult, I walked this area at the peak of plant growth and bug infestation. At last, I came upon a barn and a home of unknown origin.
condition of these places seemed brittle enough where I wasn't about to test the strength of the floors unless they were made of concrete. One has to wonder if any of these houses would still be in use today if the residents were not forced out of the area years ago. This satellite dish looks to be from the 1970s. I had read once that this area was also a camp of sorts, and there was a well-known boxer who had trained here a long time ago. There was this path along the Delaware that I followed for a little while, but it seemed to be leading nowhere. I then headed back and then up towards Old Mine Road where I would see a house in the woods while driving by. I regret not stopping by to see this house sooner. I would drive by it for years, and now it's in such condition, I don't think I would trust going inside at this point. From here, I walked back to Turtle Beach by way of Old Mine Road, where I took a ride up to the Copper Mine parking area. It's here where I picked up the Kaiser Trail which has its own share of ruins and beauty. I highly recommend checking this out if you're ever in the area. Join me next time as I continue to seek out the abandoned and the hidden, and we will see you down the road.